morning. We're trying different angles today. I just showered, as you can probably see. Don't I remind you of this one type of dog? I don't know the name of the breed, but anyways, as I already mentioned, I showered this morning, which is productive. I also read more in that book I showed yesterday. I edited yesterday's video and put that up. And of course, I was on Instagram in between those kind of things, but something I wanted to talk about was Duolingo. Now, for the past year, I've been trying to teach myself Swedish on Duolingo. It must look really weird not seeing my eyes. Yeah, so on Duolingo, I've been trying to um, learn some Swedish. I have a 154 day streak. I, I think Duolingo is something really cool because it doesn't really take long. Like, I only do five minutes a day, and of course, I know it's not the most efficient, but it makes. Ooh, that's a weird angle. But it's kind of cool to have something small, consistent every day that is kind of special that you have for you and you can do for yourself. Like five minutes doing a practice thing on Duolingo. Just a little tip in case you interested in languages or yeah, whatever. I think there are also some other like portals like I heard of Bubble or so. Um, where you can also learn languages. That's just maybe a nice little hobby to do and because it's like not a school subject, you also don't have the pressure of needing to perform very well. Being productive in a sense that doesn't pressure you, if that makes sense. So I've just done the kitchen, like cleaned out the dishes, cooked myself lunch, Isaac's here. I've been very productive on my face, as you can see. And now I've cooked myself some lunch. And again, I'll be watching this isn't really quite working how i wanted it to <laughs> this universe documentary hi it's a bit later now i haven't been on my phone too much tonight i'm in charge for dinner um i don't know who thought that was a good idea and because i'm trying to be a bit more environmentally friendly and more money friendly sorry i just had to film this this is very interesting this is like real life safari. Um, where was I? Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to try to mix something together we already have here from scraps tonight. It's only going to be my sister and my dad. So I won't disappoint too many people. And I thought I'd kind of show you how I go about these sort of challenges. First, we're going to wash our hands because we're sanitary. So my plan is to cook quinoa stuffed bell peppers with corn and some sort of meat substitute that is about to expire. And I usually cook the quinoa with some onion for flavor. I'd really appreciate it if you'd not make fun of my cooking skills, but um, then again, I'd understand it. And because we need the quinoa cooked, um, we're going to do that first with the measured water and some salt. And now we're going to bring that to a boil before we put the quinoa in. Oh, and the, the onions. Now we'll prepare the corn and the uh, bell peppers because these have to then go into the oven for 25 minutes and these need to be the green thingy. I hate these really stringy bits on the corn because when you when you cook them with them and then you've got them all between your teeth and you've anyways got so much between your teeth with corn and it's just a mess. I'm now going to look if we have anything in the fridge that besides uh, the chopped uh, bell pepper I can mix into the quinoa to make it more interesting. Okay, so I was successful and I found some uh, coriander or cilantro. Uh, is that the same? Here they say coriander, but I think it's the same. Oh my god, they're like so smart. They have, back here, they kind of have this diagram 
where you see um, the different herbs. And here you have listed with what they um, go well together. You probably don't see it. Anyways, believe me, it's kind of cool. Not that I'd ever use it, but it's cool that they think of doing something like this. So now I'm going to wash some of these, or all of them. You know what I really hate about herbs? Is that when you pick them and you let them go, they're still all over your fingers. Is there like a trick that that doesn't happen? And now I don't get it off my hands. And I preheat the oven to 180 degrees. That's uh, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So just shortly before the quinoa is done, I put the bell pepper and cilantro in and give it a good mix. I'm also trying to cut this corn in half, but it's not working. So the quinoa is more, more or less done. I still seasoned it with some pepper and a little bit of mustard. I don't know why, I just felt fancy and wanted to pull a Remy move. And now I'm going to attempt to fill this into this. I'm kind of scared. And I'm going to try to press this in a bit because uh, these bell peppers aren't that big. So I'd say it ain't be looking too bad. I'm still going to sprinkle some cheese on top and then put them in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. In a separate pot, I boiled up some water and I'm going to put these in now for four, five to seven minutes. And in a pan, I'm going to heat some oil and then put these in there. It's more or less a finished thing. It's not that flattering, but it's okay. It'll do.